Hey everyone, it's Domina Mara, and today I want to talk about dieting <laughs> and what it means in regards to looking good as a dominant. So, I've been a professional player for over four and a half years. It's going to be five years in August. And throughout my entire career, I started out with young 20s, super fit body where I could eat pizza and donuts, like four slices and two whole donuts by myself in one sitting and could go to sleep, wake up the next day and still have the same body. Granted, I worked out a little bit at the time. I did squats, I did abs, but nothing super intensive. And as I'm getting older, I've noticed changes in my body where I don't have that speed of metabolism anymore. I have to work for my body. I go to the gym five to six times a week. I do half an hour of walking to and from the gym and one hour of cardio. I'll do an hour of group classes, which is like HIIT, HIT, which is high intensity workouts. It's a burst of cardio, a burst of abs, a burst of just really intense workouts combined in a circuit so that it's varying and working all of your muscle groups. I'll switch it up. Some days I'll do yoga. I try to do yoga once or twice a week to stretch out all the muscles that I've been working on. And this industry, including the uh, film entertainment industry, like the adult industry, it's really vital to have a healthy body. There are different body types and I'm not going to say one is better than the other. Everybody has their own tastes. but. Having a healthy body where you can perform and that is aesthetically pleasing to the masses is important in this industry. What I'm going to talk about is my week and a half of trying to diet so that I looked the best that I could be possibly to go to this high-end event that I thought was worth my <laughs> suffering for that week and a half. Now if you don't know me and what I like to do on the weekends is I love food. I love brunch. My top three foods are sushi, pizza, and ice cream. Super loaded with carbs, super loaded with sugar, <laughs> and not the healthiest things to have, but it's what gives me joy in life, so I eat it. What I do during the week helps offset that and I tried eating vegetarian for a week and I didn't last more than three days. I tried really hard but I'm a meat eater at the time. I love lamb, <laughs> that's my favorite type of meat. I love good steaks and I love them medium to medium rare. And so for me, it was really tough to restrict that. Over the last week and a half, I cut out carbs, I cut out sugar, I did drink juice, 100% uh, juice, but I was always hungry and I was not in a very good mood. And even though I still went to the gym two to three hours a day sometimes, it wasn't worth my suffering, I feel. I got loaded because my body wasn't used to cutting out certain foods even though I ate vegan some days of the week which is healthy my body was just like nope <laughs> don't do it I don't want to go through this again I got gassy and yeah this might be TMI but what I'm trying to say is that my body was just trying to acclimate to the new diet but it wasn't making me feel good about myself on a normal day to day, I eat what I want because I burn it off and my body is just like, hmm, yum. And if you do everything in moderation, and this goes for anything in life, if you eat, drink, love what your vices are, if you do everything in moderation, it doesn't matter, right? 
because you will do what you need to do to maintain your body, to maintain that lifestyle. At least in a healthy situation. On a typical day, I don't eat breakfast. I get up, I walk to the gym, which takes me 15 minutes. It's about 0.8 of a mile. I do 30 minutes of weight training or abs or a combination of both. I do an hour of dance class, then I walk home, which is another 15 minutes. So that's over a mile and a half of walking, or two, because sometimes I go to the gym twice in a day, depending on the day. I give myself a break during the middle of the week on Wednesday. I give myself a break on Sunday. Uh, sometimes I will go out and go listen to music and I'll dance at concerts, but those are kind of like sporadic on the weekends and whatnot. But basically what I'm trying to say is do your body a favor, maintain it, exercise regularly, eat what you want in moderation, make sure that, you know, it's still within a healthy confine, that you have your vegetables, that you have your meats. If you want to be on a diet and that makes you happy and you're seeing results and you feel good and your body is good, go for it. And dieting is for you. But for me, it is totally not. It, I don't want to ever do it again. I don't want to have to force myself to be something that I'm not. I feel like now that I've been off the diet for two days, my body has shrunken actually. Even though I'm eating sandwiches with bread with carbs my body is like oh I need this I I burned a lot at the gym and I need to repair myself my muscles are just having that sigh of relief I do a lot of deep breathing when I'm in yoga so that oxygen is helping circulate throughout my body when I'm wearing lingerie it makes me feel good that I can look good in it and still eat what I want before I used to have a lot of pudge and a lot of cushiness to my body, but now I'm happy to say like, I have muscle, you know? My stomach is relatively in a place where I'm happy with. There's definition, which is great. I'm not saying this to boast about it or to brag about it. I do work hard. And I feel like if you work hard for the body that you want, for the job that you want, for the, the look that you want, then there's nothing else that you can be happier about, right? So, just a little bit of insight on my previous week. It was really difficult for me. I don't like restricting myself. <laughs> I know I do that with my clients. That's part of my job description is to restrict <laughs> with discipline and bondage, but this type of restriction is masochistic for me and I am not a masochist. So, <laughs> just uh, keep these tips in mind. You know, stay healthy, stay active. I found that a lot of subs that do exercise last a lot longer in my sessions, whether that is physical impact or being human furniture. They have much more stamina and endurance because they've worked out and they have the mental capacity to be like, okay, I'm gonna be in this position for 10 to half an hour, you know, and they, they can do it and they're comfortable doing it, and their body already knows that they're capable. Like, comment, and subscribe to my links below, and I will catch you next time. Be safe and have fun.